Alright, as promised, going to bring you a Ubuntu 64-bit install. Doing it in my virtual machine as usual. Um, you can do it on your computer, putting in your ISO image, or um, if you have a virtual machine it is, or burning your ISO image to a CD and then putting in the computer. So, got my virtual machine already set up. And as soon as you start it up, um, if you don't have your system set to boot from CD, I got a video on that. You want to make sure you're set to boot from a CD. And then once it does start up, uh, you have the options of what language to choose. So we're going to go ahead and pick English. And I'm basically doing this install like you've never had anything else on the hard drive before. Gives you a general idea of what all to expect on it. So we're going to go ahead and choose the second option, which is install Ubuntu. And it's going to go through here. It gives the little Ubuntu logo thingy. All right, the GUI's loaded up. And it's starting the uh, install wizard. So we choose our language. English. You can either double click on the English or hit forward. And then your time zone. And then your you know keyboard layout. I always like to go through and try putting in the actual words testing in here just to make sure it does show up. And then hit a couple keys towards the end of the keyboard on each side. Make sure it's what it's supposed to be. And then we go forward again. And then we have options for partitioning the system. Uh, really, the default um, partition option, erase and use the entire disk, is fine. If you want to be uh, uber paranoid, so to say, and manually specify your partitions, you can. But uh, if you go ahead and erase and use the entire disk, it creates a uh, swap. Uh, partition and the rest of it's made into your uh, primary partition which is fine by me I don't have any problems with that and then you specify your uh, name here so we're going to go ahead and do that and yeah that's fine and I'm going to just use the password testing log me in automatically and then we're going to go ahead and hit forward um, in general if you're installing this on a um, professional install actually on your computer you do want to make sure you got a good password I'm just using testing here for testing purposes and you wouldn't want to choose require um, you would want to choose require my password to log in. So I'm going to go ahead with this simple password. And then, uh, yeah, it's going to go through and tells you what it's going to create here. It's going to make the extended for and the swap file, just like I said. And you can go through, choose advanced, uh, and specify you know, where it's going to go to, what drive, all kinds of stuff like that. But uh, that's it. If you notice, uh, this is a little bit different from most uh, other Linux installers where it doesn't let you go through and choose um, each individual package that you want to install, you know, options for source code, things like that. A lot of other uh, Linux installers do that. Uh, Ubuntu doesn't. Uh, you pretty much just get uh, those options I show you. You hit next and it installs. <laughs> Um, probably one of the more simple Linux installers I've seen. Um, it's pretty much on par with uh, Windows as far as installation goes, and I'm glad to see that. Uh, definitely an improvement there. And I'm going to go ahead and save you some time. Instead of making you watch this progress bar, I'm going to go ahead and do a jump cut. Okay, once the installer goes through, copies all those files, you get a little message asking you to restart. Of course, you don't have an option. 
<laughs> so you restart it and you get a little message here telling you remove your disk I'm gonna go through and uh, just simply um, tell it not to use my ISO image anymore use the physical drive you just eject your disk and press enter and then of course the system restarts and you'll get a little bit of text for a second in some cases and others I'll just give you the little Ubuntu logo thingy here and it'll start up pretty quick uh, for our first time run I'm actually a little bit surprised how fast it starts up compared to some other operating systems like uh, the Mac and Windows And there we have our little waiting cursor thing. Loading screen. And we should see the desktop. Our little startup sound. And that's pretty much it for the uh, installation. Um, if you need to go through and install any drivers, um, you'll need to do that. I'm going to show you uh, the installation process for um, the VMware tools which add some extra drivers, special display properties, all that stuff. So I'm just going to go into VM, install VMware tools, and what that does is it basically mounts a disk image that contains the VMware tools. So we're going to go ahead and extract the tar file and it's basically going to show you one of my little problems with Linux uh, itself actually here and we want to extract it to the desktop 